The more the manure product is, is unique in its kind and the fact that it's going to protect the phosphorus and the nitrogen. So we're going to keep the phosphorus um, from being fixed in the soil. In addition, we're going to keep the nitrogen from being lost uh, um, to, to ammonia. We're going to keep the nitrogen the ammonium form and prevent it from being lost to volatilization. Well, what we really want to do is get an accurate measurement of what's going on in the pit before we treat with MTM and then after we treat with MTM. We have two different pieces of equipment basically. This is a Drager meter which is going to measure hydrogen sulfide and ammonia and a few other gases so it's a little more scientific and it measures everything in parts per million. So it'll give us a good idea on how accurate these test strips are which are a little easier to use and almost our sales guys who are using. You can even use them on the farm if you'd like to just to get a good range of ammonia being emitted from your pit. The Drager system is an instantaneous reading that will get for ammonia and hydrogen sulfide. It's gonna take that reading almost instantly. And right now it's reading about 26 ppm for ammonia. And we're gonna compare it to these test strips to show you that it's, these are an accurate measurement as well. All right, these test strips are really easy to use and they're a good tool to use, not only to assess how your pit is performing, but also your animal health and overall health. And you'll see that it's already changing color. That looks like a pretty dark green to light to dark blue which if you use the colorometer on here, you get a good guess it's gonna be. You see that's reading just above 20. It's a little darker than that and it's not quite the blue color. More Than Manure is a very easy product to use. Um, it doesn't have any special application method. You don't have necessarily have to have any special application equipment. If I use this product, um, I can go to soybeans next year. I, I'm not limited to going only back to corn in case I run into a snag. It's going to be, uh, it's not toxic to the livestock or to me. Uh, it's not a pesticide, so it's friendly there and friendly to the environment. And probably more importantly is the fact that it's going to keep the phosphorus from getting fixed in the soil. And by doing that and, and, and having uh, higher amounts of phosphorus taken up by the plant, we're going to put on much larger root systems, much larger stocks, a healthier plant. So, you know, we're just building a better factory under the soil by, by increasing the amount of phosphorus that's available. And in addition to that, uh, we're going to protect the nitrogen and keep it in the ammonium form, and that's what the plant wants anyway. And because of that, uh, we're going to be able to put uh, larger ears on in the sense of corn. But in addition, with soybeans as well, we're going to be able to put uh, just more yield out there per acre. Depending on what form of livestock manure you're applying, whether it be liquid or whether it be dry, the end result needs to be 18 ounces per acre um, applied to, to protect the manure and protect the phosphorus and nitrogen in the manure. Um, so, for instance, if you're talking a uh, hog manure, uh, we'll just use that as an example. Again, we're, today we're, we're here at a swine finisher facility that has a pit that's got a capacity of 300,000 gallons. Uh, in this case, the operator is going to uh, have an application rate of 4,500 gallons per acre based on the nutrient value of the manure. Uh, so if you do the math and you take that 300,000 gallons of capacity and divide it by his application rate of 4,500 gallons per acre, that's going to get you somewhere around 67 acres of, of manure that's going to be applied. Uh, so if we want to protect that manure with the more of the manure product, again, it's 18 ounces per acre. So we're going to take 67 acres times 18 ounces to figure our total product. Uh, we'll divide that by 128 ounces in a gallon, and we'll come up with somewhere around a 9 or 10 gallons of total product needed to treat and protect the manure in this pit. The facility that we're going to treat today is a uh, swine finisher facility, and uh, you can see by looking at the manure here today, there's, there's probably a 2-inch crust on top of the manure. So we're going to go ahead and dump the product in the pit, and you can see uh, those negative charges in that polymer in the more of the manure product are beginning to disperse themselves and try and tie themselves to the positively charged cations. And that crust is going to begin to de disintegrate underneath there. The more the manure product, uh, what it does is two, two things. It's going to uh, work on the phosphorus in the manure and, and protect it by keeping it um, from being fixed in the soil once it's applied. And then it's also going to uh, protect the nitrogen and hold it in the ammonium form and pr prevent it from converting to ammonia gas and being lost to volatilization. But well, we're back here after we've treated the pit here at this facility and you can already see that the crusting is, has uh, disintegrated and it's gone. The initial reaction to the more of the manure product in the manure, uh, the bubbling effect is starting to diminish and has actually uh, probably receded 
three inches within the pit. And what we'll have when we get all finished up here is just a clear liquid manure with a uh, real good composition ready for application. You can dump it directly in the pits as we have here today, uh, or in a outside lagoon if uh, you're a cattle or, or um, hog farmer and have outside lagoons. Uh, you can take the product and you can spray it over the top of ground in case you have uh, dry lot beef manure, poultry litter, so on and so forth. So it's a real friendly product that's applied at 18 ounces per acre. It's been three hours now since we've treated the pit and done our initial readings. I'm going to go ahead and use our Drager meter and the tape here to do parts per million reading of ammonia in the pit and see what the MTM has changed over that three hour period. I've done two readings in the last 10 minutes and it looks like it's between 15 and 19 parts per million, which is significantly lower than our initial readings, which was 23 to 27 parts per million. And we'll go ahead and verify that with the tape here, but it's, it's sitting right at 19 parts per million. It's still significantly lower than what we were looking at earlier. If I'm a livestock producer today, uh, more the manure is a great product for me to use on my operation and you know primarily because it's going to number one it's going to keep the phosphorus from getting fixed in the soil and if i can put more phosphorus into my plants it's going to put bigger roots on it's going to put better stocks and in the end we're just going to build a, a much bigger factory underground to feed a higher yield um, in addition to that we're going to keep the nitrogen in the ammonium form and again that's just going to go to to enhance overall yield at the end of the season uh, some other benefits that the product offers that I like is the fact that it's, uh, it's non-toxic to the livestock, it's non-toxic to me, and most importantly, it's non-toxic to the environment, which is getting to be a real important thing. And lastly, uh, you know, for a lot of producers, uh, crop rotation flexibility is important. Uh, with the more of the manure product, if we apply that to the acre in the fall and uh, something happened in the spring that happened to get wet and we'd have to go to soybeans instead of corn, there's, there's no restrictions there. So it's, it's real friendly to, the, to our operation from that side of things, but more importantly, it's, it's gonna add more yield and, and more income per acre, and that's what we're all about.